Jinny and Cuckoo. Light quality. Hard light versus soft light. Light direction is only one of the several lighting factors influencing the scene. The light in photography creates visual mood. Besides the type and the direction of the light source, one of the additional factors that the photographers need to consider is whether to use hard light or soft light. In this video, we are going to talk about the quality of light and why it matters. By quality of light, we are not suggesting how good or bad the light is. Instead, we will focus on how the light behaves, the characteristics and the influence it has on the subject. The hardness or softness of shadow area is an indication of the light quality. Hard light setup tends to give shadows with sharp, clear outlines. This creates a strong dramatic effect due to which some people even consider this light as harsh. Soft light, on the other hand, gives almost shadowless effect. Soft light does not follow a very directional path like hard light. Instead, it tends to wrap around the subject, hence the shadows cast by soft light is more gradual with softer edges. So how does the light become hard or soft? Well, there are two factors that determine the hardness or softness of light size and distance in proportion to the photography subject. Let's first look at how size impacts the quality of light. As a rule, the photographers should remember that the smaller the light in comparison to the photography subject, the harder the light will be with darker shadows and vice versa. What this means is that to get a soft light, the photographer must ensure that the light source is larger than the photography subject. So now it's very logical for someone to think, why is that the sun which is so huge is a hard light source? The answer to this is very simple. Even when the sun is huge, it is so far away that when we look at it from this distance, it almost appears as big as a coin. This makes it relatively much smaller than the subject and hence the hardness of light. Also, the sun is a perfect example to understand the next factor affecting the light quality, which is the distance. When it comes to distance, the closer the subject is to the light source, the softer the light and farther the subject is to the light source, the harder the light. To understand this, Let's play the shadow puppet game from our childhood. Switch off all the lights in the room. Now light a candle about 7 or 8 feet away from the wall. Hold your hand closer to the light. You may even try to create a hand puppet. When the hand is closer to the light, the shadows are soft and blurry. Now as you add distance between the light and your hand, the shadows cast on the wall are sharp with clear outline. To summarize, the smaller the light source in proportion to the photography subject, the harder the light and vice versa. And the closer the subject is to the light source, the softer the light and vice versa. So now the question is, which is better, hard light or soft light? Well, the choice of your light quality will depend on what you want to achieve as a photographer. And as a photographer, you should be comfortable with both since a lot of times you will have to work with what you have got. Hard light enhances the texture and details in an object, which means in a portrait photography, using hard light will exaggerate all skin imperfections and wrinkles. Hard light setting works great when you want to create a sense of danger, mystery, drama, intensity or when you want to give depth and three-dimensional effect to your photograph. Soft light on the other hand is more forgiving than hard light. Soft light 
reduces skin imperfections and almost all subjects look beautiful in soft light. And soft light is a preferred choice for most of the beauty and fashion photography. Sometime later, we will learn about diffusers and other accessories that photographers use to control the light quality. But for now, experiment with the hard and soft light, click photographs in different light setup and observe the end result. Remember, mastering any skills require a lot of practice and experience. So go ahead and click some amazing photographs. I hope you enjoyed learning about the light quality. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Your support will help us spread knowledge. Please subscribe to our channel if you love what we do.